Let's be honest, there is a lot to cycling. Yeah, cycling can be a really complicated sport. Drailers. From mech. Chains. Deep section wheels. Chamois. FTP. Power. Power? Heart rate. What's power? I don't know. With getting into cycling, you are bound to make some mistakes. And even after nearly a decade of riding, we still make some of these very mistakes to this day. Yeah, so today we're going to shine a light on those mistakes so you don't have to make them. So before we start, I think it's best we own up to some of the mistakes we made. What's yours? Oh, hard question, because I've made quite a lot of mistakes, but one that I still do to this day and annoys me is when I forget my cycling socks and I have to wear ankle socks. Yeah. It just hurts inside. Yeah, no, I what about totally yours? agree. Mine is forgetting spares and tools. Uh, I kind of risk it for a biscuit and um, I get caught out. I don't think I've ever seen you with an inner tube and a pump entirely this in my whole life. Do as I say, not as I do. Exactly. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing? A quick puncher. Yeah. You don't mind, actually. Thanks. Hold on. Oh, man on! Did you, did you press the brake? It was an accident. Man on! <laughs> yes, this is a mistake we've all made. When you've got a disc brake bike and you press the brakes, it closes up, making it so much harder for you to put your disc between the pads. Whether it's putting your bike in the car or riding the turbo, when you haven't got a wheel in or a separator to separate the discs apart, you're gonna be, well, struggling to put your wheel in. Yeah, and then you'll be like me, stranded. By the side of the road with a nice view. Not ideal. Thanks, Manon. Right, this next one never happens to me because I do not, under any circumstances, leave the house without snacks. Now, for example, on this short ride today, I've got one, two, three, four different snacks for me. And the amount of people I see out on, on bikes, on long rides, and they just don't take enough food, and when they don't eat enough food on the bike, it essentially leads to a big, fat bonk, where you completely run out of energy, and every single pedal stroke feels like a marathon. So basically, take my motto on this one, and take at least a choice of three snacks before you head on the bike, because you won't be surprised how much you need to eat. For getting a bit of cycling equipment, or clothing. You've done it, I've done it, we've all done it. So how do we alleviate that? All you need to do is make a list. Put it on your phone, on the wall. That way it acts as a reminder. So every time you pack or head off on a cycling trip, you can tick off that list. No matter how big or small, it can really ruin your cycling holiday. I mean, I get anxiety every time I pack. The last thing I wanna do is forget my cycling shoes. Stranded here in Girona without being able to ride my bike. It's worth not even thinking about. Hey, Come man, no, no. Nah. Come and get Hey, you're meant to be my friend, huh? Come on! Did you smell my shoes? You mega. Now this next one I'm definitely a culprit for and that is not cleaning and looking after your bike. Yes, think about it, you've been out on a long training day, you've been at a war against the weather, the hail, the snow, the rain, the sleet, you've had it all. And then you get back to your room, a hotel or your home and the last thing you wanna do is clean your bike. So you say, oh, I'll do it after I'm showered and changed. So you go and have a shower, you eat some nice food, you sit down in front of a TV and the last thing you wanna do is clean your bike. You then think it's gonna be okay to leave it. And three days, four days go by, you get on your bike ready for a training group ride and you turn up with a dirty bike, a rusty chain and squeaky brakes. Yup, then you regret it. You think, why didn't I just clean my bike when I was ready for it? So don't make this mistake and before you're done riding and you, before you have your shower, make sure you give your bike a nice big clean. One of the best things about cycling for us is stopping off at the cafe with your best buddy for a cup of coffee and a slice of cake. Yeah, we're running the risk of, I don't know, wasting loads of time at the cafe, eating loads of food and spending way too much money. Yep. 
You've been sat here for an hour. You've demolished a sausage roll, a quiche, a panini, a scone, a carrot cake, a brownie, a rocky road, and the list goes on. And then you go to get back on your bike and you feel like a completely different person. Almost a little bit sluggish for some reason. Yeah, so let's try and alleviate this by reining ourselves in that little bit. And well, let's not go for the three course meal and uh, instead have a snack. Keep energized and remember, little and often. It's quite hard though when, yeah, you, when you've been out peddling and then you get true. to the cafe and you're starving and there's a great selection of cakes. And lastly, the one thing we hear most of all here at GCN is, why didn't we start cycling sooner? Yes, it is. This sport of cycling is a brilliant one. It keeps us fit and healthy. It brings great friends together and it gives us a little bit of escapism from this crazy world that we live in. Yeah, and if you agree, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if the points above have helped you from making the same mistakes we have, well then let us know in the comment section below. And if you have any bizarre cycling mistakes that you've made that we haven't mentioned, let us know because we love reading them. Oh, we do. Um, yeah, mine has to be cycling shrink, like shrinking my clothing during washing. Oh, amateur, amateur. Yeah, yeah. yeah I haven't got your laundry degree no. yet, have you? No, I still work on that one. <laughs>